In today's video, I want to share with you all of my tech essentials for 2024. These are the things that I carry in my pocket and I don't leave the house without. Starting first with my smartphone of choice, which if you know my channel, you know how much I love the 13 mini. Now, despite having tested the 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, I just loved when I finally got to go back to my mini simply because it's just one of those phones that's a pleasure to use on a daily basis. It really has enough to get the job done. The camera is superb. The size is perfect, makes it really easy to use one handed. I have a separate video on how much I love this phone, so I'll link that down below for those of you that want to check it out. But I really think that this is the perfect fit to use on a daily basis for People might not know it, but for the majority of people. Now, the next item is going to be something that snaps right onto the 13 mini and you need on a daily basis. I newly discovered the Magback wallet. I really, really love this wallet. Not only are the magnets really strong. Again, I've done a separate video on this. I'll link it down below if you really want to check it out. But I love the leather. I have both the brown and black, but I just wanted to show the brown just to, because it gives it a nice contrast and I think it looks great with the black, but then also great with the golden brown leather case. One of my favorite things about the Magback wallet is this loop here. And I know the mini for me is really comfortable to hold in the hand and I might not need this as much, but if you are somebody that has a larger phone like a Pro Max, then having a little finger loop built into your wallet is a great addition. Now, usually after we've grabbed our phone and our wallet, the next thing that we're going to grab is going to be our car keys. And before I talk about the car itself, I want to talk about this, which is the AirTag holder. This is a multi-tool holder by Pitaka. It's got a bunch of little multi-tools in here that you can just slide out. And you might not think so, but it's actually really useful. So I really love this because not only is it protecting the AirTag, but I have a few multi-tool options in case I might need them. As far as an AirTag goes, if you've got keys and you're in the Apple ecosystem, do yourself a favor and get an AirTag because this is really handy. It will help keep track of all your items. I have it on my backpack. I've got it on any useful item that I don't want to lose, I've got an AirTag on there. As for the keys themselves, these are the keys to my BMW 5 Series. I've always wanted this car and finally being able to buy it with all the different options I wanted in 2022 was a huge achievement for me because I've really worked hard to do so. I absolutely love this car. It's practical. It's a four cylinder, four wheel drive. It gets the job done and every single day when I go to sit in that car, it makes me happy. So if you're somebody that loves Beamers, share your love down below because I really love them. Next item is going to be my trusty AirPods 3. These are my sidekicks. They are with me on a daily basis. I used to use the AirPods Pro, but ultimately I was like, you know what? I don't really need noise cancellation because Majority of the time when I am resorting to using AirPods is when I'm on a phone call in the car. And so the car is pretty quiet in general, so I don't really have a need to do noise cancellation. Even when I'm outdoors, these have been sufficient enough. I like them, they're cheaper, and I do have the AirPods Max, so if I did really need like noise cancellation or way better audio, I just jump over to those. But 99% of the time, these are the AirPods that are with me. And being cheaper than the AirPods Pro, these will get the job done. If you have an iPhone, these will pair really well. Next up is going to be a product I wear, which is the Apple Watch Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with me and this channel, you know for a fact that I've had the Series 4 for the longest time until the Apple Watch Ultra came out. That's when I gave this a shot. I gave it a chance. I wasn't sure if I was going to like the larger size, but I've really enjoyed it from being a more useful display to just being a better watch overall. It was definitely a nice upgrade after 
you know, going from the Series 4 all the way up to the Ultra. And honestly, even though we have the Ultra 2, I think it's a waste of an upgrade. If you have an Apple Watch Ultra, you should hold on to it and use it for as long as you can, because it's probably going to be several years before we actually see a significant enough upgrade to make the jump to a newer Apple Watch. Now, last but not least is going to be another favorite Apple product of mine, and this is the iPad mini. I absolutely love the iPad mini simply because I had a pro iPad and when I went to the iPad mini, it was just a great experience. It reminded me again that this is really all you need in an iPad, something that you can comfortably hold. And this goes back to my 13 mini and iPad mini. I'm living that mini life and I did a video on why I love these two. So I would really highly recommend that you check that out if you're looking to have this combination for yourself. This basically becomes my phone's bigger brother in a way. So when I want to watch much more long form content and videos and stuff, I resort to this or I want to do anything that requires a bigger screen. I just resort to using this as opposed to, you know, just carrying a Pro Max, which is a much bigger phone. And you do have more screen real estate, but it's not as comfortable to use. Whereas both of these are very comfortable to use and are very capable devices. So if you're looking for a very comfortable iPad, I don't know if there's going to be an iPad mini seven, but if there is going to be one, then I will definitely be checking that out because I absolutely love this. This is a very, very capable iPad. As for the case on the iPad, I use just a Apple foldable case, but what I will recommend is the screen protector I have on here. I actually have this on both my mini and the iPad mini. It's a matte screen protector. This really helps like when you're outdoors, especially with your phone, because you tend to use that more outdoors. It's really going to reduce those reflections and glare that you get on the screen. So I will link down below where I got this. It's off of Amazon and they're pretty cheap. So definitely give this a shot if you do have the iPad mini six for yourself. So these few tech items are ones that I'm always leaving the house with. So wherever I'm going, they're always with me. I do have a backpack and I did a video on that. So I'll link that down below because I need that for when I carry my MacBook and other essential items. But at the minimum, these few items have to be with me at all times. I really want to know what do you carry on a daily basis? Is it similar to mine? Is it different? Drop a comment down below and I'll be happy to talk to you there. Thank you so much for your time. I really look forward to having a great 2024 with all of you that have continued to support me and all of you that find me with newer videos that I put out here on this channel. Thank you for your time. Like always, I really appreciate it. Take care of yourself and I will see you in the next video.